Yo, hello everyone. Are you looking for a reliable VPN service to protect your phone's internet connection? In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use Surfshark VPN on your mobile device from installing the app and connecting to a server to explore advanced features in the application. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, here it is my phone and to start with installing the application, you gotta go to the App Store. Right from here, search for Surfshark VPN and here it is. Now make sure that you got the same images in here and you got the same rating of the application which is 26 ratings, 5 stars and this is the application that you are going for. It has 16 languages so it supports multiple language and here they are the information about it so it is made by Surfshark LTD now let's get to installing it and opening it so here as you can see you got 12 months of unlimited VPN and you can get a free trial so here it is you can get like here let me just cancel that they have like three plans the year plan the half of a year plan and one month so for the one month you get it for 10 dollars point 99 which is about 11 the six month you get 39.99 and for the 12 month you get 47 dollars per a year which is more or less that like better than getting six months if you're getting for going for six months you just go for the 12 month for a year because it is better and the 70 like this 12 month will get you a seven day free trial to check if it is good for you or not now let's get into using the application so once you open it it will be like that so here will be your information where you're from etc etc et and in case you'd like to connect to anything go to the locations into the locations here you can find literally every kind of the locations and multiple kind of services for example for australia you have perth adelaide melbourne and Brisbane and Sydney so all of these servers here you get Austria you get uh, Azerbaijan I think here Bahamas Bangladesh Belgium uh, Belgium again you have like um, uh, Belize you have Bhutan you have Bolivia Brazil uh, like here Brunei I like multiple countries that I don't really know about you have Cambodia Canada Chile Colombia Costa Rica Croatia like bunch of options of countries and here you go this is like the list of the US and the UK so UK you got service in uh, Glasgow London Manchester and Edinburgh and for the US you got Salt Lake City San Francisco Latham San Jose Ben uh, Ashburn Denver, Atlanta, Seattle, uh, Dallas, Phoenix, Chicago, Detroit, Las Vegas, and like a bunch of options of the service that you can connect to. Now, all of these servers, you have to know that there is difference between a virtual server and a real server. The better the real server, the worst is the virtual server. So you better choose, for example, if you find in the UK, a virtual and a real server, go for the real server because it is much better. Now let's talk about what's the difference. So basically let's say that you have here London, so United Kingdom and London. That means that there is a server actually connected in London, in the IP of London with the Internet of London. But if you want to do virtual one, that means that there is a virtual server, for example, in, uh, in Spain. And this server is actually using a VPN <laughs> with a real machine server that is in the US so this is how it works basically and yeah so you better go for the real server instead of like um, virtual server and now what is like different option that you get here so you can have the one Surfshark one which helps you a lot by protecting yourself on all fronts with Surfshark alerts into viruses and search on top of your VPN all in single digital security app you will get all of these things from VPN you'll get alerts so automatically monitor emails credit cards and personal IDs scan for breach uh, breach databases and get notified if your personal info is leaked antivirus you'll get an antivirus with that and search you get ad free search results no data tracking no storing and country specific search results which is really good for only 64.99 
per year so you can upgrade it through here now for the vpn settings you can get here all like the settings from auto connect so once you open the app like it will be only always connected to a vpn to so a server you can turn this on uh, of course you have to get like the plan here you can choose the fastest location to be uh like for example to choose your fastest location so it's going to be automated to for example to look in directly to japan for example so once you click on quick connect which is over here here you can see fastest location it will take you directly to japan so this is like a short key to connect to any kind of servers that you are chosen now let's talk about the servers so why are you actually going to use one of these VPN things? So basically, why since you gotta pay like seventy dollar per year? Why exactly? Well, first of all, it protects you against malwares, getting hacked, protecting your data, and much more. So this is key number one. Key number two is if you are interested in joining the deep web, going to use a Tor or something like that, you really have to use VPN because you will be like a naked fish walking around in the sea you're gonna be like a hot check walking in the streets so you really have to use vpn so you can cover yourself up and like people will not be like looking at you as a simple thing to hack the th third thing which is why do we use vpn and i will daily uses if i'm not like a normal user i'm not going to use vpn for uh, for like uh, any hacking stuff any uh, deep web stuff what am i going to use vpn for you can actually use vpn to scroll in netflix so if you don't know netflix has tv shows for each country individually for example me i am in morocco in morocco we have tv shows that people in asia doesn't have why does Netflix use this strategy because some culture doesn't accept ki some kind of movies or some, uh, some kind of ideas and that's why uh, Netflix categorizes each country with its own TV shows. So it doesn't really influence their culture or touch their culture with any harm. So in case you'd like to watch other people TV shows or other countries TV shows, you can use VPN to swap between your IP address into another country IP address and then you can go ahead to Netflix and watch whatever TV show you think of. It is as useful as that. And yeah, guys, that was it with the, with the VPN Surfshark. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I try to cover everything from the using of the VPN, the plans, and the location that you can join, and the differences between the virtual and the real service. So thank you guys a lot for watching, and see you guys in the next tutorial.